Hey guys, it is Chef Kayla with Waller Adventures and today I'm going to show you how to make grilled lemon basil snapper. So stick around and check it out. So for this recipe you're going to need your snapper fillets. These are actually two different types of snapper. We have red snapper that was caught in Atlantic Beach, North Carolina, and we have mangrove snapper that was caught in New Smyrna Beach, Florida. Then you're going to need your black pepper, lemon for the lemon zest, basil, olive oil, balsamic vinaigrette, and salt. So here are the snapper fillets. They're all nice and clean. Got the bloodline out of them as much as I could. <laughs> But yeah, as you can see, they're, they're small fillets because they were caught fresh by me and camera operator Jen. So they're, you know, nothing big, nothing uh, too, you know, serious. But yeah, so they are be thawed, cleaned, and ready to be marinated. So the first thing you'll need is two tablespoons of basil. Then you need one tablespoon of water. Then you'll need two tablespoons of balsamic vinegar. Then you'll need one tablespoon of olive oil. Then you'll need one teaspoon of lemon zest. And how I made my lemon zest, which you can see, is I grated the outer edge of the lemon, the uh, yellow of the lemon, and it looks like this. You know, need one fourth teaspoon of black pepper. Then you'll need one fourth teaspoon of salt. I'm gonna kind of whisk it all together. And you'll have your marinade. So since I have small pieces of filet, I went and doubled the recipe for the marinade. So I'm going to put our filets in here in a Tupperware. Then I'm going to pour the marinade in the bowl. So I got the marinade in the Tupperware with the fillets. I'm going to put the lid on it and I'm going to shake it up. All right, so after shaking it up a little bit, you can see that all of the fillets are marinated. I'm going to go back through and kind of lay them out a little flat so they're not all balled up. All right, as you can see, I kind of got them flat now. But I'm going to put the lid back on it and I'm going to let it sit for about 15-20 minutes and marinate. Alright, so we got our snapper fillets marinated. They sat there for about 20 minutes. So I got my little grate on top of my uh, grill. I'm going to put them down on it. Alright, so I'm going to leave them on here for five minutes and I'm going to come back and flip them over and leave them for another five minutes and they should be ready to go. Ooh, buddy. Some of the tinier pieces are sticking, but so even though I sprayed this and oiled it, some of the pieces still were sticking to it, but I think it's because my pieces are small. All right, check it out. Oh, yeah. They're really good. They smell really good. They smell like basil and lemon. <laughs> All right, so I'm getting ready to do the taste test. Just 
It's really, really good. It's a lot different than the other recipes that we've made so far. It tastes lemony, but it's more of a lemon zest instead of just lemon, like we normally do with our fish. Normally we do the whole lemon juice for lemon slices, but this is a different lemony taste because of the lemon zest. It's not legit lemon. And the basil, we can really taste the basil on it. It's pretty, pretty good. So thanks for watching our grilled lemon basil snapper video. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and make sure you are subscribed to the channel and hit that bell icon to get notifications when we drop videos like this one. Also check us out on Instagram and Facebook. And while you're on our Facebook channel, you can go to our shop where we sell the B spots from Rogue Magnetics and we have the Ann Street and Cookbook up there as well. In the description of this video, you will find a link to our bigger shop where we sell t-shirts, hoodies, hats, drinkware, and everything else. So thanks for watching. See you soon.